to say when I finish saying like because I can, I would pause the video right here. I'm just gonna press on S to cut this. So you have this really little uh, track. Just gonna remove the audio because you don't need that. Then the next thing you wanna do. Hey guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a new Sunray tutorial. It's Wednesday, so it means a new video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make rainbow text. So um, it's not going to work like the same thing like Photoshop, like you make a text uh, like clip and then you edit it and you add like this rainbow effect. It doesn't work like that. So you need to uh, make some transparent text. But you can all going to see it in this in today's video. Yeah, I would say let's get straight to the point. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Google and you want to find a rainbow color um, kind of image. I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like that you can download. Okay, we're on Google right now. You don't want to type in rainbow because you will only see rainbows and that's not what you need you need rainbow colors so that actually that looks like this like stripes it almost looks like a flag so we're just gonna download a nice rainbow color i would say let's pick this one okay so you want to save this to your computer once you've done that you're going to go back to vegas and then what you want to do is you just want to drag that in real quick i'm going to do that right now so you can put it in this one and um, to get rid of the black bars really simple as always just right click and then just properties and uncheck maintain aspect ratio boom there we go we got rid of the black bars all right so the next thing you want to do is you want to add a text file but there is something you need to keep in mind so let's go to uh, media generators you want to go to legacy text and you want to pick this one with the purple which is like transparent so pick this one okay so i'm first i'm going to stretch it to the entire video track like this i have to stretch it out a little bit more and um, as you can see it's really simple you just have the rainbow like underneath it you want to drag your text over it and as you can see there's all already a, a rainbow as you can see but you guys think like alex there is like this light purple background how do you get rid of that it's really simple you just want to go to this and you just want to go to properties and you want to put this marker to black and i already can hear you guys like alex i see only yellow green blue and darker blue i'm gonna put a text you know um something in there i'm gonna put the words tutorial on it and as you can see we don't have any other colors than yellow even blue so we, we, we're missing orange we're missing like red so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that so basically the thing is you only see those colors because the track underneath it bars are way too big so what you want to do is you want to go to this little icon as you can see this one this white one and i'm gonna just you know bring it down a bit you want to make the picture of the colors just a little smaller so let's do that so i'm just gonna i'm gonna drag it down and as you can see the colors are starting to appear now we have the word tutorial but let's say you want to have a longer word let's see what happens when you type a longer word let's say just is that gonna fit on the screen just alex halford like that you're saying like alex um the first letters the gu the first two are disappearing and i don't see half i don't see the r and the d the thing is you also just want to go to this icon and you just want to resize it until you have everything in your screen which is happening right now i make it a, bit, a little bit bigger and there it appears and that's how easy it is guys i know there's nothing like you need to take a specific color correction to put this on the word it's really simple you just want to resize the image as you can see so let's say i don't want to have those a lot of colors like red orange yellow green blue dark blue pink you can just make it bigger and let's say you only want to have those three and if you say like i just want to the last three letters on blue you can just make it as large as you want and that's and that's basically how you can you know put different colors where you want it let's say we only want to have the d in dark blue just want to make it bigger until it actually it's there and if you want to have all the colors just make it smaller again and there are the colors appearing. So that's how easy it is, guys. So if you find this video helpful and you want to see more of these videos, make sure to smash that like button. And if you don't want to miss out any new Vegas tutorials every Wednesday at 12 p.m. PST or other videos seven days a week, like vlogs, uh, audition, OBS, all that kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe down below. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and for the continued support. I, would, I wouldn't be doing this without you. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week for a new tutorial. So I would say until then, I will see you guys very soon. What's happening, guys? My name is Alex and welcome to a new Sun of Vegas tutorial it is wednesday as music new video and today i'm going to show you guys a pretty uh known effect which is called the thug life effect and why because it is requested a lot and because i can So that means actually, I would say, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so we're in Vegas, um, of course, and what you just saw, I just took that clip and put it into Vegas. So as you can see, this is what I just said in the beginning of the video, this, because it is requested a lot and because I can.
And I'm going to put because the thug life effect on that. So what I would say is let's get into the video. So what I want to do, this is optional. Okay. Um, I'm just going to add some a little bit color correction and some brightness and contrast. This is spice of the video. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, so you can, guys can do it with me. You can pause the video. You can rewind the video. You can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to go to the video effects tab. I'm just going to pick brightness and contrast. I'm going to drag that on top of the video track and I'm just going to pick one of my presets. This one is perfect. Okay. So that's it for the brightness and contrast. I'm just going to pick also the color correction. Boom. Like that. And then just, um, I would pay that's one nice. It's my preset. I don't know why, but that's my preset. So that actually looks uh, like way better. So what I would say is I'm just going to edit the tug life effect in and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So firstly, I'm going to play the back to video because it is requested a lot. And there's a little bit lag because it is requested a lot and because I can. And when I say, when I finish saying like, because I can, I would pause the video right here. I'm just going to press on S to cut this. So you have this really little uh, track. Just want to remove the audio because we don't need that. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to right click on the clip, insert envelope on velocity. Boom. Then you have this little green line, as you can see, and you want to click on the beginning on this green line, right click set to you want to put that to zero. That means it's going to remove all the motion, stretch this track out as long as the effect um, happens. So let's see what I got already. I can. Boom, that's already what we have. So let's say I'm going to um, imagine it. this song is playing. This clip is playing. So right now, I can. now we can imagine the song and the, the, the glasses and the thug life I can come in. We're going to do it right now. So what I want to do is I want this to transfer from color to black and white. So what you want to do is you want to cut this in half, put this one to the side and you want to make this clip black and white. So you're going to go to the video effects tab, drag that on the last part of the track, as you can see, so it's black and white. And the only thing you need to do is make a crossfade between those two. And you will see that it starts to um, appear black and white. So let's see how it looks right now. So as you can see, we're, turn, we're turning black and white. So I'm going to play it for you guys again. Because it's this little crossfade, as you can see. I'm going to make it out a bit longer because that looks pretty good. So let's see how it looks right now. Because it is requested a lot and because I can. Boom. That's nice. And the next thing you want to do is you want to also um, zoom in a little bit. So what we're going to do now is we're just on this uh, track with the green line. You want to click on the little icon which says events pan crop you want to set a keyframe about right here at the end and then what we're going to do is we want just want to zoom in a little bit to this like this and then i'm just going to put it to the right so it, as you can see it's going to zoom in really slow let's see how it looks right now because it is requested a lot and if this video is going too fast you can always pause it and rewind it and do it like that so because it is requested a lot and because i can as you can see, boom, we're now zooming in, as you can see. This looks pretty good, though. Okay, we're done right now with, like, the effects on transitioning. So we have a color that goes to black and white, and also it zooms. So the next thing you want to do is you want to create a new video track. Click on in, uh, insert video track, of course, because we want to add in the Thug Life effect logo. You just want to go to Google, and you just want to pick uh, this Thug Life effect, of course, as you can see, with a PNG with no background, of course. Um, let's see which one we're going to pick. Uh, this looks pretty good this one so we're gonna go and save this one save it to where you want it boom that's it then we're going back to vegas and we're gonna go in our folder and you want to drag the logo in as you can see boom we have the logo right there so that looks like pretty good though but it's way too big so what we're gonna do is we just want to click on this, this little y icon and you want to uh drag this down to make it smaller to, to you know make the logo smaller as you can see i'm just gonna turn it a bit as well it looks pretty good like, like this I'm just going to make it smaller so I can fit it right here. Boom, like that. Let's see what we have already. Because it is requested a lot and because I can. You can make a fade in. So like you want to drag this and so you can see how it looks. So you can do it like this. I'm just going to leave it like that because it actually looks pretty good though. All right. And the next thing you want to do is you want to add in the, sa the music. So what you can do is you can add in like some uh, royalty free hip hop stuff. I'm just going to uh, load in the San Andreas soundtrack. You guys may know that for a few seconds though. So I'm just going to do it right now to create, create a new audio track. And let's match the Doug Life effect with the music. Let's match the sound. Because it is requested a lot and because I can. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to see, I'm going to do that again. Fade in and it'll work. Let's 
That looks pretty good. The last thing you want to do is to, you know, those deal with the glasses. Um, so we're going to also create a new video track and you want to also want to Google and download those. I'm just going to pick this one. I'm just going to save it to the folder where you want it. Go back to Vegas and you just want to drag in those glasses onto the next video track. Boom. And those are really big. So what you want to do is just go to this little icon, this white one, and resize it until it fits. So let's see. Let's do it real quick. That's a little bit too big. So I'm going to just make it smaller until it fits, of course. Let's see. Like this. <laughs> that looks pretty good. So let's see how it looks right now. Because it is requested a lot and because I can. So we can fade in the Thug Live glasses, as you can see right there. <laughs> it looks pretty good though. And I know the, the, you know, the footage moves. That's how you can add in, you know, the Thug Live effect. So if you want to see more of those fake tutorials every Wednesday at 12 p.m. PST, make sure to smash that like button. And if you don't want to miss out on any new videos, make sure to subscribe down below. And I want to thank you guys for watching to this uh, video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for a Reacting to Balls Videos episode. So until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.